a brand new trailer for the upcoming reboot Fantastic Four, which was originally shown at this past week's Comic-Con, has now hit the web. In the new trailer, we see more footage of Doom and a glimpse into the background of Dr. Reed Richards. Fantastic Four hits theaters on August 7th. Schnepp, what do you think of the new Fantastic Four trailer? I really like this one a lot, a lot, because it showed a, so much more of the storyline. Like in some of the other trailers, you'd see them in this negative zone world and they're like kind of falling into some kind of red flames. Now you see it as green flames. And now you also see Dr. Doom have this kind of crackled green like a uh, form. So you're sort of getting a little glimpse into the origin of how Dr. This new version of Dr. Doom gets his powers or whatever. Um, it looks great to me. I really cannot wait to see this this uh, this version of the Fantastic Four. I have high hopes for it. So the trailer does nothing nothing but wet my appetite. Yeah, I was in Hall H when the trailer debuted, and I and I liked it. You know who didn't like it that much was everybody else in Hall H. Now they weren't booing it or anything. They cheered after they showed the trailer. But the entire Fantastic Four panel that we didn't touch on yesterday, it just felt a little flat from a fan perspective, and it made me question like why. Now obviously Deadpool followed that, and everybody went crazy, and then X Men everybody went crazy. But the kickoff of the Fox panel was Fantastic Four, and it just didn't seem like the fan fervor was quite there where I thought it should be yet because the content that's been released from this movie is great. And this trailer is no different. I think the backstory with Reed Richards is awesome. And the way Doom looks, getting to see more of him, was great. It was, need I say, fantastic. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to this movie. This movie has surprised me. Ever since I saw that first trailer, I'm like, I've never been a Fantastic Four guy. I never really cared that much about the comic books. But everything I've seen from this movie seems to be making the right play. And I really hope it pays off because now I'm excited. Yeah, I, I look, everybody knows I was very much poo pooing the idea of Fantastic Four, especially the Fantastic Four babies. I didn't like that they went so young, all that kind of stuff. But I eventually got over them when I saw how good of a director they got, good of a screenwriter they got, the incredibly high caliber talent they got in all their actors. Mm -hmm. I, I liked the first trailer. The second trailer came out, I loved the second trailer. This trailer, I like. I like this trailer. I did not like it as much as the last one, but you're right. I like the fact that they give us a little bit of the backstory into Reed Richards. I thought that kid was great. Yeah. I really I thought that kid was in there was great. The flying like, car. How are you gonna do yeah. that? Already did. And like yeah. it, that was really cool. <laughs> I like that they're giving us glimpses of Doom. And here's the other thing too, with with Doom, I was having this discussion on Twitter with a couple of people. It's like sometimes studios can't win. Because if you give them the doom everybody's already seen before, people complain, you can't do, why don't you do anything original? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's give a new incarnation of doom. Let's give a different look at doom. That's nothing like the doom from the comic book. It's like, bleh, pick your poison, one or the other. They pick their poison to go, let's take a new take on this arch rival, on this arch villain. Let's take our own version of it and go with it. And I think it's going to work. I like what I've seen so far. Could be terrible. I didn't like this trailer as much as the last one, but it's still a positive one for me. I like what I see, and honestly, well, all the questions will be answered on August 7th. Well, just imagine how excited we, and I think a lot of other people would be for this trailer if the other Fantastic Four franchises hadn't existed before. Yeah. This was the first yeah. time you saw them, so they really dug themselves a hole by just making bad movies before in the same way that the Incredible Hulk had to overcome the previous incarnation of the Hulk. So I hope that people can just go in here with a fresh set of eyes, and I actually, I, I don't think I've seen all of any of the other Fantastic Four things. So I've just, I watched a little bit and I was like, eh, I'm good. You've so seen enough. I've seen You've enough. Seen enough. <laughs> and I hope that this one can win fans over. You know, it, it often reminds me of, uh, to, to bring a sports analogy in it, right? I remember listening, it's like, well, you know, the the last time the Boston Celtics were in a three to one deficit back in 1974, <laughs> they lost. You know, they lost four consecutive three games to one games. Mm -hmm. It's like, what the hell does that have to do with the 2014 team? This is a completely different lineup of people that have nothing to do with that, and that a lot of people want to keep pointing back to the other two Fantastic Four films. This is a new director, new cast, new cameraman, new writer, new producers, new everything. Don't let anything good or bad, well, let's face it, there's nothing good, about the original two Fantastic Four films color what you think is going to make this Fantastic Four film. This Fantastic Four film will be great or be terrible based on its own merits, and it'll have nothing to do with the other two films. What were you, what were you about to say? Oh, pretty much the same thing. All right. Yeah, I was, I was about you were going to make that Boston Celtics analogy? Gonna, <laughs> guys, as being a giant sports fan, I was going to say when the Cryhawks uh, fight the Grim Grimblegores and they're using the splatching device, never use a splatching device. Well said. <laughs>